uh, in the past videos, uh, we have shown how to re uh, upload uh, files onto my uh, web application here in order to generate my certificates and my open attestation uh, verification files. Uh, however, uh, because uh, we want to streamline the process, so we will be including the creating of all the certificate files in the web application itself. So uh, what you can see here in this code uh, is this uh, single form component. So in this single form component, uh, I have four fields which the users will be able to key in. If you see the HTML here, it will be the training name, course name, course dates, and the email. So uh, all this is just the uh, single form that they can fill up. And because uh, when we generate, we want to generate a lot of files at the same time to in order to save time, uh, this single form component is actually used in this uh, issue forms component. And what this issue forms component does uh, is that it takes in a single form component and then it maps it to my uh, form data so that uh, each form, uh, each state of my form will be different so that I can key in uh, different fields for each different form. So uh, yeah, so I'm using this mapping all to all forms to the single form, and then once that is done, uh, I can actually uh, generate uh, generate as many forms as I need and key in as many fields as I need, and then uh, when I submit the form, it will come out as an uh, array. So if we go to handle submit, uh, yeah, it will submit an array to the to the to this uh, function here. So, uh, just a bit of what it will look like. It will look like uh, this. So, I have this uh, form here. So, four fields. And then, uh, for whatever trainees I need to add, I can click Add Trainee. And uh, it will generate as many as I need. And then, uh, there's also a delete button. So, that uh, we can clear all those that we do not need. And then, when you press Issue Certificate, uh, it will send the array to my handle submit and then uh, it will first of all it will go through all the uh, my open attestation processes again uh, but this time it's including the the fields so uh, so we don't extract the fields from the pdf anymore but we just take in the fields straight from the form itself so these are my open attestation functions and then once that is done uh, i will create the certificate pdfs so uh, for the for training info in all forms, so for all the info in the forms, I will generate a PDF block. For the generate PDF block function, uh, we are using this uh, React PDF renderer. So uh, there's a previous video on this, but we'll just show it again. Uh, so we have this uh, styling for my uh, certificate here. We'll be using the uh, background image of my certificate so you can see here we have this uh, function called generate block so uh, that's what we, we will record and then in the generate block uh, we're just returning a uh, this uh, certificate html so inside it uh, i'm using the styles i'm adding my certificate image as a background and then i'm using absolute to make sure that uh, the certificate uh, the words overlay the certificate instead of being at the bottom and then uh, inserting all the variables that I need and then uh, that should create the certificate and this PDF block will contain uh, the training name, the course name and the course dates and then uh, I will push the block into an array and then once the block is in the array I will uh, upload the my open attestation web documents my PDFs and then my uh, form details to my backend so that uh, we can upload it to the MongoDBs and then if we go to, so we are using upload files so if we go to my DB utilities there's the upload file function here and uh, first of all because we want to upload blobs um, my PDFs are already blobs so we don't need to change that so we can see here blobs but then for my web documents they are still in the open attestation document format so we'll be changing them to blobs also using this function here so uh, new blob then I stringify the document and then uh, set it to type JSON and then uh, set it into a uh, OA files array. And then next, uh, we need to send this all this data over to my backend express. So we need to put it into a payload. So first of all, uh, my form details. 
I'll just stringify the form details and send it to the back end. And then uh, for each of the OA files, I'll be appending it to my form data and as well as each of the PDF files. And then we'll use an Excel post to post the form data and my API to my API link here. And then uh, so if we go to my back end, you can go to certificate routes. You can see here create certificates. And then I have other fields data, OA files, and PDF files. And then it will call the create file, uh, create certificates function. So we go to the certificate controller. You can see here my create certificate uh, function is an async function. So first of all, we get the form data by passing in the body of the request. So this is the uh, how we get the data from the payload. And then to get the files from the payload, we will use uh, this request.files OA files express multiple file so we'll be changing it into multiple file and uh take note that uh in order for this line to work we need to use the if statement if not uh uh the express cannot recognize that this uh oa file uh, variable exists so we need to use the if statement for both my oa files and my pdf files in order for this uh, line to work and then once that is done uh we'll be using the form data as a uh, so like a counter, so if uh, I have uh, three, three, for example, three forms, three trainees that uh, are filled in, uh, this will loop three times. So first of all, first thing will be is uh, finding the, if there is an existing trainee by matching the trainee name and uh, email. And then uh, if this trainee does not exist, we will create a new trainee uh, for them. A new trainee field in the document, I mean, the, in the MongoDB, a new trainee document in MongoDB. And then we'll save the trainer, tra trainee, and then next uh, we'll be getting the PDF file buffer. So this, this is what will allow us to uh, upload the buffer to, to the MongoDB so that when we download the buffer back, uh, we can change it back into a file. So for OA files as well, we'll be uploading the buffer, so we'll be getting the buffer first. And then once we have all the information that we need, we'll create a new certificate in my MongoDB. So we're putting the trainer trainee ID and then the course name, course dates, and then the PDF file, PDF file name, OA file, OA file name, and then we'll be saving the certificate and then we'll sending back completed. So uh, that is how we create a process that allows users to key in the details from the form all the way to creating my PDF files and my OA files. So I can show an example here. Uh, let's send two trainees. So uh, test two, uh, test three, test three, test three, test three, and then test four, test four, test four, test four. Okay, and then I click issue certificates. Uh, the MetaMask should come out. Okay, and then I click confirm. And then once this is loaded, you can see here transaction confirmed. And then we can go to my issue certificates. You can see here uh, I had test two and test one. Now I have uh, test three and test four, which I just generated. And then we click download. You can open the PDF file. And then you can see here this is my certificate. And uh, if I go to my verification file, I can download the verification file. And if I uh, drag it into here and look at the schema, you can see that uh, this is a, the, the correct uh, open attestation schema that we need.